I ordered this box from AK Motorsports and look what I've just come inside, look, right? What's this? It's just chilling in my, my engine mounts box. <laughs> For those of you OG subscribers, you'll know where we are. He's sold his Mark II RS, taken ownership of his girlfriend's Mark III, bought it off her and given her the ST180 that you guys seen previously. He's just gonna move the car out of the garage now so we can get the ST in there ready for today's work. V7 TMY represent, although you wanna get rid of yours. Way out of my price range, but still lovely looking car. Shane is obviously very lucky to be in a position where he owns it outright. Obviously I could finance one, like any other person, but I choose not to. Obviously, we'll get this one turned on. Oh, it struggled a bit there. Should I pass this your way and then I'll, I'll get in? Change camera. Just so I keep the left a little bit. Where mine's wider than yours. I had a Ford Ranger in there. Right. Taking full ownership of the camera again. ST is uh, safe and sound, as filthy as it is, inside the garage, ready for uh, today's antics, whatever they may be. You've got loads of things in here, it's in there. Loads of toys. In there? Yep. So if someone on the floor says it's the wrong one. So it looks the same. But it's that exit pipe here that's supposed to be on the back. Yeah, you're right. So yeah, unfortunately I made a little mistake. It's fine. I'll rectify this and I'll also have to get it done at another time. But that's fine. I'll uh, hide that one away for the time being. <laughs> Literally sideways shuffling through the garage. Oi, try not to headbutt everything. Right. Um. So the reverse switch is in here. Let's get that done. These two here, like I said yesterday, guys, or like well, like I said in today's video, but on yesterday's clip, um, I've got both as I wasn't sure which one I'd need, so that's fine in that department. Um, what else have we got? Got the Momo wiring kit for my horn, which I've been banging on about for ages. Hopefully, get that done too. Let's take two bits out so Shane has no ideas to what we're dealing with. Honestly, I'm completely clueless about wiring. Allen key, some bolts. There we go. So, like I said, I've got the wiring kit here, as far as I know. 
Yeah, so uh, I guess it's getting the battery out and getting this reverse switch done. There we go, right. We'll put this one aside, keep it safe. Stick it in there for the time being. Right, battery covers off. Let's get the battery out. Um, to those of you that haven't clicked on as to what we're getting up to, underneath the battery, underneath all the casing, is the reverse switch, which um, you saw in the previous bit. I don't know where it's gone. I think Shane's probably got it. There we go. I showed you this earlier. So I've replaced the bulb, and this is what I need to replace next in order to get my reversing light working. There you go. This I think this is actually the wrong one. The right one is in there. It looks the same as this, just without the black casing. Obviously, if you've got um, taking the battery off, don't leave your keys in the car. Don't leave my keys in the car. No. They're not in the car, so that's okay. And if you've got an electric tailgate, which we have, then uh, don't leave it shut. Because you won't get in to get your bits. Remind the new viewers how many cars you've had in your life. Yeah, it's like 79. We worked out. That's just too cars. many. It is. Right guys, in order to gain visual access to the actual switch that we've got in there, um, Shane's made me put the car into fifth. Initially thought it was reverse, but it wasn't. Um, stick your car into fifth gear, which is what I've done now. And it makes it a ton easier, apparently, to uh, see what he's working with. Obviously the engine mount that's sat on top of it, you need to clear some of that away in order to see it. We have noticed that this one looks quite perished. I don't know if you'll be able to... Oh, there's the light. I don't know what you'll be able to see. I don't know what it's going to focus on. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see hardly anything. So you've taken out a bunch of the bolts. Shane, you may as well just pull it out and we'll, uh, then we can see the engine mount that's underneath. And potentially the reverse switch as well. Nice one. Yeah. Where are we looking then? Down there somewhere? Yeah, it's still under here. Yeah. Might as well just take the mount off quickly. We've got two new engine mounts to go in. I know, it's frustrating. Just waiting for DPD to deliver them to my house. My car might be out of action, so we might have to take a detour to my house. I might have to chuck in some fuel money. I'll have to go and pick them up. Yeah. Either way, guys, hopefully today we can do the reversing switch for the uh, reverse light that's broken. We can fix the wing mirror switch because they've stopped working too. Uh, we can get the horn working on the aftermarket boss kit. We can get the engine mount done both here and there, seeing as the torque mount itself underneath the car is done that you've seen fitted right there a couple months ago. And then um, we were going to do the coolant tank, but it turns out I've got the wrong one, as I mentioned earlier. But yeah, we're certainly making waves, getting things done, seeing as I have a couple of days off work. Right, Shane's managed to be a wizard again and pull the mount out. Can you see anything that's looks dodge this is the one that I, oh there's a bit of a crack in there it's supposed no, to be like that or not? yeah yeah it's, that's what's done okay it is supposed to be like that so what, what's this mount actually called i know that sounds a bit it's newbie the, of me it's the gearbox and the gearbox mount isn't it okay Gears so the, that one's out and obviously we're going to upgrade this one anyway so if if, if you looked at that at a hundred percent um i don't know how to describe it but either way the one that i'm getting is 150 percent equivalent of what this one would have been the one that I'm expecting to be the issue is under here. So obviously that is on the way as well. Like I said, it's now like 10 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock in the morning. And uh, they're not due to arrive till about two. Where are we looking? Switch is there. Okay. So what's the one with the black tip then? The reason why you put it in like fifth or wherever we put it in is to get the linkage out of the way. Alright, let's see if we can get it. Get out. Whee! Look at that. 
Anything visual that you can tell if it's dead? And never no. are they? Not me no. internal, innit? Well, that's my shame. Well done. Helping out all the people watching this as to how they get the reverse light fixed. A new one's back in. Um, the correct one came out of this box here. If you can see, Euro Car Part Special. So that's fine. I put the old one. Sorry, I'm confusing myself now as to which one's come out of which box. Anyway, that's fine. Either way, new one's going in now, but you can't put the mount back in because the new mounts are arriving. It would be stupid to have to do it again. So I think we're going to leave the car like that, screw it in lightly because he doesn't trust the jack that's underneath. And then we can uh, go on to some other bits. But no, it's good to have had that done. I'm just hoping that it actually works. But we're not going to find out until the battery goes back in. So yeah, we'll uh, have to see that at the end of the video. Look. Look. Most dogs like this. <laughs> the sweetest thing. Who would trade a Mark II RS for a pug? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Caption of the video. I swapped my Mark II Focus RS for a pug. I should have done that, yeah. Cute. Right, part one of demantling the steering wheel to try and get the new clock spring in so the indicators automatically turn themselves off. Two screws behind here and a torque bit that I've already removed. It's down on the floor well somewhere. Shane's looking for the correct part. But yeah, I didn't, didn't want to get this done and not show you how we went about doing it. So the first port of call is to remove all of this. So I've actually managed to unclip this completely. Um, there is two screws on the back, which you need to ignore, but that little push tab right there is the one that you want to be using, that one there. So I've taken that off and then we can actually get to all of this. So I'll get that out now and I'll show you what happens next. Right, so I'm actually demantling the indicators entirely. So these tiny little screws, is it a T10 that gets these out? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna put them in the little uh, section there to keep them safe. There's quite a few. So it's not exactly a difficult process. I've been procrastinating for a while actually on how to get this glass out because I had a company get in touch that make a carbon fiber surround for this. And I said no, because I, didn't, I felt like it would be a big job, but it turns out it's not. There's just two screws in there. Um, easy um so yeah i'm going to get this apart and just hope that we can get the new clock spring in because to those of you that don't know what that does besides too many other things it cancels out the indicators from uh, going on forever which is a pain oh that should come straight out like so there's a little switch in the back like so, indicators out. Either way, let's get the other one done as well. The battery's actually out at the moment, guys, so that's why I've not got the light on in here, so I apologize if you can't see much. That's why I've got Shane filming with that camera, because the lens is good for low light. Um, another screw, and then the last one. Come on then, you bastard. There we go. How many of you guys are up to date with the whole Logan Paul KSI fight? If you're into that kind of thing, let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. I'm repping Logan Paul. Say what you like. He's an athlete. He's going to wreck him. There you go. Another indicator off. Um, and Right, guys. Um, I'll explain this in simple detail. Um, I've taken off the plastic surround that had the original clock spring in. Now I actually broke that, we fitted the steering wheel in the dark and in haste we pulled it off and we actually ripped the power cables that line the inside of this. I've ordered a new one and for some reason confused myself and just didn't know how to get it done. Um, either way, we've, we've got this fitted, um, well, we're, we're fitting it in the process of. Um, it's super important for cancelling the indicators, um, it's also important for doing various other things with the original steering wheel itself. Um, I think I paid £26 on eBay, thereabout, and it's been sat on my kitchen table ever since. But well, we're going to get this screwed in now. Um, the old one's come out, but obviously the, 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 the middle's missing because I threw that away. But I just wanted to give you guys a bit of context as to what was going on, you know, so I'm going to try and feed this in properly without breaking anything. Um, I've never done this before. Oh my god, little things like this make me so happy get these screwed in and um, where's the tiny screwdriver tiny screwdriver there we go
bloody hell, Shane, you never do any work, do you? Cameraman. Mechanic over here, just getting it all done. No, I'm not a mechanic. Don't take that literally, guys. I had someone message me the other day, right? And they were, um, why would I subscribe to you? Um, you never upload any videos. I didn't reply because I didn't want to turn around and patronize someone. But working six days a week, I'm working from, you know, I get up at 4.30 in the morning and I'm not done with work until three. By the time I leave the gym, I'm talking five o'clock and I've got to be in bed at seven. And they're like, you never upload. I, I do upload. I just upload when I get time. Um, until this, if I'm ever lucky enough, becomes a full-time job. I'm not in a position where I can uh, work less hours. So it's a difficult one, really. Um, but thanks, mate. Continue supporting me. I appreciate all the love. There we go. Let's get those indicators back in as well. Make sure they're on the right side. Then I'll put the right indicator in the left one. <laughs> How many screws came out of that? Um, a couple came from the indicators. Two each side. That one's on the left. <laughs> Stick on the right. Yeah, great. Right, off to Euro car parts. Gonna take some of these bits back. Sequential indicators. Show off. We'll get them on the mark too. Fly, you're not coming with us. There we go. There we go. Mark three focus and harness. Guys, I would show you exciting Mark III RS overtakes, but Shane's being a wet yogurt. <laughs> oh, hey! Look, it's Hugh Jackman's car. He's even got the scratch marks down the side. There we go. Hey! Mark 3RS parked outside my house. I ain't complaining. <laughs> yes. Yeah, boy, engine mounts have arrived. Finally, the engine mounts. It's soaked. Yes. Yeah, perfect. Just Thank you so much. Down. You can do the honors. Shred it. Open it up. Let's get these engine mounts out. Oh, hard race. One. One. Unit. They obviously saw the other one in the video earlier. Yeah. Wee boy. Nice. Let's look at this one quick. Oh, he did. Nice one, brother. Right, guys, if you want the hard race engine mounts, check out AK Motorsport. They're on Facebook. You can obviously call them directly from that number, and they have Instagram, I assume. But either way, these are the guys. Yes. There's no play in this one. There wasn't the other one. Let's go and get these fitted. It's going to make my ST vibrate even less. Or more. <laughs> I ordered this box from AK Motorsports and look what I've just come inside. Look, right? What's this? It's just chilling in my, my engine mounts box. <laughs> right, while he takes out that mount there. Uh, he does have the new one, which is right here. Hard race represent. I'm excited to get this one in. It's either going to take away the vibration or add lots more. <laughs> one of the two. I'm not going to show her face, but she's smoking cigarettes. Be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> Next to each other, these are the two mounts. That way, yeah. So, again, guys, for those of you that have been wondering, this is what they look like. Mm, let's have a play. Indeed. Got Indeed. Off. Go get this off. Shane's just propping up the engine so that the mount actually fits in properly. Obviously, it's going to drop a little bit when you take out the original mount.
better? Yeah. I'll get the bolt in. Nice one. Can we down a little bit more? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. I'll watch the mount here. It's all going flush. There you go. Yeah. Spot on. The flush? Yeah, spot on. <laughs> One two. You stick your pecker in that one. I'll stick my finger in that one. Mate, it would be loose if it went in that hole. Sure. Well, you might have to get out of the way because I do this all. I'll just it's try to get a squirter so you won't watch out. It's going to be a squirter. Ready? Oh yeah. Ready? Move, you need to move. I was going to shove my finger in the hole. Then you just chuck it on the floor down there. Oh! Ha ha ha! here. This is the old tank, guys. Out with the old, in with the new. And we're on to the other engine mount now. That's it. Not even done out. It's probably worked as my brain then. Maybe. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> no, my luck. I'll be sat in the car later hating all my life because everything's my brain anymore. Yeah. There's five to do before it comes up, by the way. Yeah, no. No, it's four. Five. Four. Five. Where's that fucking? So can you pump the jack a bit more? Yeah, it's definitely corroded, but I don't know if it would be enough to cause damage. We'll see on the other side, will we? Yeah. Oh, look, there's one of the washers that I lost the other day. I'm one of those clips. And that. Yeah, <laughs> sweet. All kinds of things. Oh. There we go. Let's just leave it there. Is that leaking or is it just the coolant stuff coming no, out? No, it's coolant on top. Let's have a look for me. That's what the Fiesta was like later, to be fair. Yeah. I'm going to split there, aren't we? That's alright. That's just a seat. Split there. Yeah, but I think that'll make a difference. Don't know. One way to find out, isn't it? Put it on. Guys, engine mounts in, uh, tightened up as much as you'd like to think. Um, all sorted, hard race upgraded. All three now are uh, two hard race and one air tech. Um, but yeah, we're going to get the uh, new coolant box in. Coolant box, coolant tub. What have you done? She, oh. She's tied it on because she likes to grow potatoes. What? That's what scissors are for. That's, cool. <laughs> That's a very good shout. Oh my god. That was thing. There we go. Splendid. Fuck me, it take me longer to get this bit of string off your will fit in it. Can you not say such words, please? You'll get me demonetized. Oh, sorry. I need to make the £4.62 pence off this video. So I can afford my Netflix subscription. <laughs> Netflix is like eight pounds. You ain't got no chill without pounds. Netflix. Ten pounds on. Remember that it's five pounds. <laughs> Which is 
fine. Don't worry about it. Thank you. Then. The generosity has no bounds. We buy the stuff you have to mix. What's going? Yeah, I, I do. We usually buy concentrate, but I just bought the amount that I needed yesterday. So. <sighs> Indeed. Oh, hey. Oh, there she blows. Can I give you that? Right. I'm going to say, give this, give this a quick slice. A snip. Oh, yeah. give it a quick slice. Past it. Good for the environment. I'm assuming it's going to go like that. Yeah, like it was, yeah. Is there a bit on the old stubborn side? Final, is it recording? Yeah. Nice right, one, brother. Um. I can't see from there. It's coming away. Yeah, I do for a minute. Right guys, moment of truth, turning the engine back on. Um, Not so I will uh, get you to come round and we'll experience the vibration that goes through the steering wheel now they're both hard race mounts. Guys, let me just put this into context. I at no point thought the engine mounts would fix the vibration issues I've had. I just know that engine mounts can cause vibrations, so I wanted to upgrade. I had the choice of genuine, choice of hard race. The genuine ones, they only had one available at the time and the other one I would have had to have waited and I only had these four days off work. The uprated, I knew that I'd be doing track days anyway, so I felt that it was a good shout. I'm expecting it to give some vibration, but this is the moment of truth. The vibration you wouldn't feel here anyway. You can still feel a little bit. No, no, what I'm saying is you're not going to notice that vibration you, in here. You did on that map we fit on the Fiesta. It was instant. So you just said it vibrated a minute on that one? Yeah. So we're doing the same before? No. Fixed. In Espanol? Polski? Jak mojito bia pomoc? This one? Right, so I've just taken the car around the block and the vibration hasn't been cured. Don't worry, that's what we expected, so I don't need people telling me that in the comments. What we have managed to fix is the indicator clock spring that now actually turns itself off. Um, we have Shane at the back just checking because having fixed the reverse switch, the light's still not working. So I'm just coming here so you can actually see. Have you checked the fuse? Obviously, yes we have. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that the fuse is okay. There's a lot of fuses in here. Shane's got one of everything in here. Yeah, we fitted the um, fog light covers, which you'll see here. Those are now no longer cheap wrap, but decent fog light covers from the fog light guy on Instagram. Yeah, we've just done a few bits, really. Doing girls, we've got some good news. Hey, we have a reversing light. I don't have to reverse out in pitch black early in the morning anymore. So, the fuse was messed up, so having put in the reverse switch, pretty much taken out the entire um, battery and whatnot just to do the reverse switch, switch turned out to be a fuse. We've got a switch on the Oh yeah, great. Uh, so we're just going to do the same now for the, uh, the mirrors, because the mirrors don't move. Now the reason I thought it was something more than the fuse is that when we took the door card off and did the speakers, you have to unplug some bits, so the potential of not having done that and put it back together was there. But either way, we've been making waves today guys, it's been a great... A great day so far. What I'm gonna do now is we're gonna try and get this done if I can and that's fantastic. But the last part of this video, I'm gonna finish off with just a little test drive just to try and see what we can pick up on, what we can notice, see what vibrations we can feel. All right, so guys, stay tuned. Thank you for staying so far in the video. Like if you haven't already. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Big ups to Shane. I'll put her, um, his and Zoe's channel in the, either in the cards at the top or in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Peace.
All right, guys, I figured for the end of the video, seeing as we fit the hard race mounts, let's just ignore all the vibration for the time being and give Shane's unbiased review of what he thinks, because he's going to feel the vibration anyway. The car does need to warm up a little bit. Right, so try and be as vocal as you can if you feel anything or notice anything. Not here. Then let us know. It's obviously a very different car to what it was when you were... Uh, do you want to give the window a squirt? How did that squirt? When there's no wiper there? It's the pumps are there, isn't it? There's nothing. Oh, the moment. You wait till you accelerate. Away, hey? The indicator's so far away. Let's do it. Let's see if they click off. Don't don't undo it. Let's no. see if they do. Hey! Vibration. Feel anything? Yeah, a little bit. It's like feels like it's that side of the I can feel it through my feet. Oh, yeah. It's not aggressive, it's just sort of a, a subtle shake. You feel it there at low revs. Oh, yeah. yeah. What does that feel like to you? It's annoying though, you can see how it takes the love away from the car. Yeah, no. it's Because not, you're, not, you're not able to boot it. It's not, yeah, it's, you can notice it, but it's not. I could live with it, by myself. No, it's, I've been living with it. Yeah. Um, but it just so happens to be, have become a topic of the videos because I've been trying to diagnose as to what it is. There's nothing there now. Nothing there now. Let off. Oh. <laughs> See, there's nothing there now. It's on the hard on the front. Yeah. This is why I, made, it's why I thought it was engine mount. It's not a slow car. No, it's not. <laughs> Rapid. Yeah. Well, obviously you've got rid of your Mark II now, so this is the only love you can get from it. <laughs> as you help me build it up. Oh, it's quite fucking it is. For what it is? Yeah, for a four and a half grand car. But I am dealing with the A at the moment, trying to get them to replace them to genuine Ford. Yeah. Right guys, I'm going to end it there. I can smell clutch, I can smell brakes, I can smell something. But either way, um, we've had an amazing day today. We've got lots done. Big ups to Shane. I'm going to stick his channel up in the info card up here. So click on that if you get the opportunity. I'll also link his socials down in the description section below. Also, thank you very much to Zoe. That's fantastic. So I'm going to head home now. I'm going to wear judge the car on my own without the camera on the way home and then obviously we're going to start tomorrow got a big video for you tomorrow or potentially sunday fitting some bits and uh we're going to go from there so like i said as always like the video let me know in the comment section what you think and we'll see you guys in the next video gc and the pt roll the outro peace